Hello, the final external threat we're going to look at now is a man in the middle attack, which is quite sexist really, it can be a woman as well, MITM attack. So this attack, man in the middle attack, is when an attack is able to intercept messages between two victims. So it is what it says, this person, this man in the middle of two victims is intercepting the messages they're sending between them over a network. So let's say our two poor victims here are Alice and Bob, they're two innocent people, they're just going to communicate over a network let's say. So first of all, let's say maybe they're doing some negotiation, some business deal. Maybe Bob is requesting £3,000 to his account. He's asking Alice for this money. Now Alice will hopefully have this money and will send it to him. So she'll maybe send it with the account number to confirm that she has sent it. And then Bob will maybe send a message back acknowledging that he has received it. Now this is pretty much how communication goes in real life. A message will get sent a message will come back saying they've received it. This is generally how it goes. Now the issue could be if this is done over a network, maybe it's a unencrypted Wi-Fi network, maybe this evil person Eve is actually eavesdropping over the network. She's, and she's managing to intercept and eavesdrop the messages because she's maybe sat in a cafe and can intercept their Wi-Fi or maybe she's managing to hack into a router and can intercept it. But she's finding some way to listen into our messages here. And so, with this information, she knows that Alice has got a lot of money and now Bob has got the money. Maybe she's able to take their bank account details and cost them some money in that way and extract money from them. But this is just eavesdropping. Eavesdropping is its own attack, really, where we're just listening in. We're not actually doing anything. And usually, a man in familiar attack is a bit more active than this. Usually, we're actually going to, as an attacker, going to actually modify the messages between the two victims. Eve was not doing anything, she was just listening to it, which is still illegal, but she was listening to it. Whereas normally an MITM attack is actually modifying the messages and can, this can take it to a slightly more extreme level. So let's use the same scenario again of Alice and Bob. Alice is trying to send some money to Bob, he's trying to receive money from Alice. But this time, let's say we've got an actual man here, let's say we've got Mallory, who is our person, who is our attacker in the middle of Alice and Bob. This time he's able to actually intercept and stop messages coming from Bob. So the first message requesting £3,000 to his bank account is being taken by Mallory, not Alice. Bob doesn't know that the message is not going to Alice. He thinks it's gone to Alice, but actually Mallory has managed to intercept it. Now here, he might actually manage to change the message. So instead of saying it's going to account number 72419, he might change it so it's going to 18845, which let's assume is Mallory's bank account. Alice receives it thinking it's coming from Bob, she's got no idea we've got Mallory in between changing his message. So Alice is going to reply, like normal, except she's sending the money to who she thinks is Bob, but actually is Mallory. And so, maybe Mallory does nothing, maybe he just put, ignores it and moves on, maybe he sends a message to Bob saying, okay, sorry, I can't right now, and Bob thinks, but actually that's coming from Alice. He doesn't realise that actually money's never going to arrive, because Alice has sent it to the wrong person. But then Mallory might try and convince Alice that things are all okay by sending a message from Bob. It's not actually from Bob, but it, it looks like it is, saying that it has been received and is all okay. So Alice ends this thinking it's all been done. She's got less money now, but it's all been finished. Whereas Bob is confused because he's got no money and thinks Alice is not giving it to him. But Mallory is a winner here because he's managed to get £3,000 just by intercepting and modifying messages in the middle of this communication. So this seems like a very easy attack to do, and it is relatively easy if you've got some technical knowledge, you're able to intercept messages, it requires some software, but the most important weakness is it not being encrypted. If Alice and Bob encrypted their messages, like most communication is nowadays, this would not really be possible, or it'd be much, much harder, at least. So the main prevention measure is making sure all of the messages are encrypted.